Those of you that have moved iOS images before, you know that the copy option is how you get this going. And you have a number of options. The first option is the source of the file. So in this case, you could do FTP. Uh, you can use RC RCP. Uh, you can use uh, TFTP. Now you can see down here we've got our X and Y modem. So what are we going to rock? We're going to rock the X modem because that's what we spent our time talking about. And then we want to copy this to Flash. And before you start doing this, let's just cancel out this. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have enough room on your device for the image. Otherwise, you're going to have to delete the one that's there. So currently, we have looks like quite a bit of space available here. I think this is a 16 meg. Yeah, it's 16 megs of flash. So this is a 2610 XM with I think the bare minimum memory. This is an old box. Um, but anyways, just make sure that you have enough room there. Otherwise, you'll have to delete or you know overwrite some of that garbage. So let's get back to copy x modem and then we want to specify flash and I hope this isn't like the other 2600s where you actually have to specify flash 2 doesn't look like it and then here you can hit enter you could put a lot more information in there but if you give it this bare information it's going to bring up a little menu and it's going to well not really menu it's good a dialogue I guess is the actual term and it's going to um, prompt you for more information so the destination file name in this case this is going to be the image name and be sure to put the dot bin on the end here. So we're saying copy to flat copy this image to flash and I don't want to erase flash. Beginning the X modem transfer right now. So everything's going right? We're good to go. Well, how is that possible because we didn't specify a location for our image. So we need to go up here. We need to go to transfer and then you have some options here what we're looking for is send X modem. Suppose in this case we could have used Y modem as well, but no, not as well. We could have used Y modem instead. Click send X modem. It's going to have you fucking Adobe Updater. Blocky cocksucker. Um, where was I? Well, there you go. If you're not fast enough, if Adobe gets in your way, it's going to attempt to send this for however many Cs. I don't know how many seconds that was. It seemed like about a minute. So we're going to up arrow and hit enter. Well, I'm sorry. We're going to go back up here, hit enter. Don't get me started on Adobe. We could just up arrow and, and hit and fill in this information. So, so now let's go up here and do this quickly. Go to send X modem and I have to go to where I have this stored, which is iOS images. And here's the image. I'm just going to double click this because the clock is ticking. So basically start your copy operation go through the uh, transfer. Your device is sending this file uh, via X modem and we can see it's starting to work here. We got the transfer. Uh, we got an ETA of about 18 minutes. Um, it's got an error here. So we can see if there's any errors. Actually, oh, I didn't notice this before. It does show you the, uh, the speed in bits per second. So we're running about six kilobits per second here. That doesn't seem right because I have the higher speed. I thought it would be more. So this is with that baud rate of 115,200. And we're currently about 5% in. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch this thing <laughs> to the end. Uh, my presentations are boring enough as is. This would probably just make you want to kill yourself. Uh, so I'm going to pause the uh, recording and we'll come back when this guy's done. Okay, so it's about 17 minutes later. We can see here that it took 17 minutes for the file to get transferred over. We also have no errors here. Uh, I think I mentioned a little bit earlier that I was surprised that this showed the kilobits per second. Actually, it's not. It's showing the kilobytes per second. And so if you multiply this by 8, because there's 8 bits in each byte, you come up with about 56K, which makes sense. It went over the line at 56K speed, and those of us that have remember the bad old days of dial-up modems and baud speed should not be surprised by this speed. Anyways, it copied it all over, um, ran a checksum. We're good to go there. Let's go ahead and show flash and we should have two images there and we do. Here's our old image and here's our new image. So we're successful. I think what we should do now is go up here and actually didn't have to do that. You can tell how many times I've done this. I'm a little unsure about the uh, steps here but so it stops sending it by default. So once that, that uh, transfer was complete it stops sending it so you don't have to go up there and somehow stop that. Okay so we got the image on there. Let's go ahead and whoops type correctly, do show flash, and then boot system flash, and we'll choose the new image, paste that in there, and do the same thing here, and put the 
old image in there as well. So this is the boot statement. Check your documentation for your specific device. Uh, it may vary. Here we're saying when this boots up, go ahead and attempt to load the new code that we've thrown on there first. And for whatever reason that fails, go ahead and load the old code. Uh, let me write this. Okay, now I'll pause the video and I will reload this device. Okay, and so the 2600's had time to get its brains back. Let's do a show ver, and here we go. We can see that we are running the new iOS version. So we've been successful. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to delete this, um, and we're going to reload this device and get into ROMMON mode. So I'm gonna delete that image I just threw on there, get into ROMMON mode, and then I'm gonna show you how to use Xmodem in ROMMON. So, a little cleanup here. I'm going to remove those boot statements. Actually, I'm not going to sit here and bore you with this. I'm going to remove the boot statements and I'm going to set the uh, console line back to 9600 baud and then delete that image. Come, I'm going to pause here. When we come back, we will be back to the setup that we had prior to going through um, moving this image over via X modem. Okay, so we're back. So what I did was I removed the boot statements. I set the console line speed back to 9600 baud, and I deleted the image that we had just thrown on there. So if we do a show flash, we see that's been deleted. Unfortunately, uh, this is going to turn into a real-world troubleshooting issue because when you see this deleted, it means you have to squeeze your flash. So I tried that and it gave me an error and so I went out to the interwebs and basically what's going on is that this code that was running on there was 1228. 2600s, let me just actually bring up this document. And I don't know if you guys can read all of that. You might be clipping on the end. Anywho, uh, it does not work on a 2600 blah 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 with software version 12.2. That's exactly what I'm getting. And what it's telling me down here is that uh, it does support the command, but in order for the command to work, you have to first erase the entire flag uh, because it sets up some type of, I don't know, some function so that it has a way to, it's a log so that it can do this. So basically, I have to erase the entire flash on here, which will actually work out in, because what we're going to do next, let me get out of here, I don't want to bore you with this. What I was going to do next was that I was going to go into Ramon mode and load this guy on there uh, but what we'll do here is we will do something that I do not do this in production so I'm gonna pause for just a second you'll see all these E's come across the screen but it's erasing my flash so at the end of this what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have a router that has no iOS image whatsoever which is actually in this case gonna fall right into what we were gonna do I'm going to reload it and that will bring us into Ramon okay so the flash has been completely erased do a show flash now I have no images Show ver shows that my image file is stored here, but unfortunately there's nothing there. I'm going to go ahead and reload, and I will pause the video, and when we come back, we will be in the dreaded Ramon mode because we don't have an iOS image on here. And this actually replicates one of the times where you're going to run into having to use the X modem to move an image. Generally, it's a corrupted image, but in this case, you know, no image equals absolute corruption, I guess. All right, so I'll be back in just a second here. 